Uh, the reason I bring up Chrono Trigger is because, yes, Square Enix did uh, create it and, and lord it all over us. It is today, as we're recording this in America, uh, the 26th anniversary of Chrono Trigger, March 11, 1995. Now, did they do anything for the 25th? Uh, no, that was last year, and they did not. Uh, okay. They've pretty much, after Chrono Cross, not touched Chrono Trigger, apart from um, bringing out a port to mobile phones on the Apple iStore. Um, what we can see here playing on screen is the uh, cinematics made by Akira Toriyama, which they, when they re-released the game. So this um, is from the DS? This is from the DS and the PlayStation mm. 1 version uh, that came as a pack-in with Final Fantasy VII, I think? Maybe okay. five. I can't remember. It looks really good. Um, but this game was one of the... Well, this was... I've mentioned it before on the show. I won't go into it too much. This was the very first RPG that I ever played. Uh, I played it all the way through. Had no idea that in RPGs, you're supposed to upgrade your armor and your weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so the final Oopsies. boss battle... like I've since read that this game's about um, 16 to 30 hours. It took me much longer. Like... The final battle with Lavos at the end, because I didn't upgrade anything, seriously took me about four hours to do. <laughs> but I finished it. And then I found out there's 13 endings. 13 alternate endings too to many. this game. Um, so the re-release with the anime cutscenes, you get an anim the true ending, which is an anime cutscene ending. And you get a, uh, a disaster ending, which is where everyone basically dies. What did you play it on first? I played it on the Super Nintendo. So... We, I was over at a friend's place in high school and we went up to the video store to hire a game and that was on the shelf and we thought, oh yeah, that looks cool because the uh, artwork, looked, artwork looked great. Uh, and it came with the converter so we could play it and we ended up staying uh, up all night playing this game. What uh, was just, the first console you finished it on though? Um, oh, was it a console? I emulated it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I wanted to finish it that bad. Save states. So did you emulate the SNES version or the DS version? Uh, the SNES version because uh, the DS version wasn't a thing. When oh, I, when you did that, it wasn't yeah, a thing? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I basically hired the game and then became so obsessed with it so quickly, I, I just downloaded a, a ROM oh, okay. and, and, and played it there. But I have since purchased it numerous times. I've got a Chrono Trigger collection. Um, and I have the DS, a couple of versions of the DS version. DS version's the, the top version. It's like you cannot get any better. I've got that. it, but yeah. I haven't played it yet. You need to. I will. It's seriously a great game. Um, like an EJRPG, grind a little bit at the start, but the characters are written so fantastically well and the storyline is so... It seems cliched, but it's not. It's, it, it's a cliched, stereotypical storyline, but because the characters are so deep and likable and lovable, uh, it, it's just a, a brilliant game. I'm looking at the cutscenes. I'd totally watch an anime of that. Yeah, well, I used to think that this was an anime uh, so when they announced and i got to see oh i love this scene this is uh, uh kairu frog and chrono entering magus's lair and the music here i've played it on dan versus the world um numerous times the dun, 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 dun. note for later Braden. It, it, it's <laughs> wow it, it's oh, oh you know those games that you just love that you, you cannot get enough of yes i um, loved who wants to be a millionaire on ps2 that much Okay, um, so <laughs> this game now is stupid expensive because it is so popular and so mm. loved. Um, so you're looking for a box copy of the Super Nintendo version, six hundred to eight hundred dollars. Ha ha. Yep, yep. I've held one in my hands uh, a couple of years back. A guy I had it at um, one of the toy fairs, mm. and I said, "Oh, how much do you want for it?" And he goes, oh, "I'll make me an offer," and I went, four hundred dollars," and he went, "No." Nah. Oh. laugh in your face yeah yeah um and my reasoning was like it was pretty good but there was a dent in the corner where it had been dropped and he goes what you're gonna over 400 dollars?" i said if i'm spending 400 dollars on a game i want it to be pretty bloody good dude yeah um but like that's one of those things that i don't think i will ever own unless i'm stupid rich but even then for 800 dollars, there's a lot more i'd like to buy with that money so yeah how amazing will it be if you just go up to like a garage sound down there's just one there Oh, in a box like you just lose super rare because we are in australia um i know and the chances of anyone importing it although having said that you never know because those video game stores had those games there mm. so so they were around they're around um of course fakes are also around so if you see one of these on ebay or whatever and it's power it was never released on in, in power so, so it's a fake one it's a fake don't even bother with it 
Um, DS versions, which you've got, go for about 100 to $120. That's not what I paid. Yeah. I know, right? I bought mine brand new, sealed for like 39 bucks, I think. Yep. Or 35 or something like that. Yeah, so is it still sealed? No, I open everything, man. Oh, everything. You've just lost a lot more money. I don't buy it to sell it again. I buy it to play it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, you haven't played it. I didn't say when. <laughs> so you opened it, broke the seal, and haven't played it. Yeah, I, I want to look at the book. What the hell is wrong with I you? I want to look at the book. You're crazy. There was no book. They didn't have books anymore. I found it out when I opened it. Oh, you're a... Uh, anyway, if you would like to play Chrono Trigger, there is a way to do it legally. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> look at that. Uh, plus postage. So, yeah, you're looking at about almost 500 there. And that's from France. So it's in French. Um, cheapest way to play it. There is a version on the Apple Store. So what I've got is I downloaded it for about $6 on the Apple Store on my Apple TV. And just go in through there and have an old PS4 controller that I've synced. And you can play it there, not a problem. 